As far as the world's deadliest creatures go, large predators like sharks and lions tend to get all the credit. That's kind of predictable. In fact, if we were to point to the animal kingdom's most frequent killer, it'd actually be the mosquito. But these creatures we're about to show you are right up there in the danger department. From snails, to frogs, to dragons, to caimans, to caterpillars. Yeah, you heard it here first. Even the smallest, fuzziest, friendly animals can hurt you. Or even worse, you might want to keep your shoes on. An escape might be in order. Here are 15 of the most dangerous creatures you should run from. Number 15. Strange Unknown Sea Creature It's one thing to have an incredible day at the beach, and it's another thing to discover something unforgettable while you're soaking up some sun. But what we're looking at here, after these curious beachgoers wandered up to this big pink mushroom-like creature, is scary and kind of gross. That's why many people on the internet are speculating that this crazy creature may be fake, perhaps like some found footage from a horror movie. But would you be willing to risk upsetting it by pouring soda into what appears to be a mouth and then watching it explode? Maybe snap a few pics and call authorities because this alien-esque sea monster could be one of many. And the pink mystery appears to be some sort of amphibious sea animal that ventured ashore. Obviously, it does not belong at the mercy of some soda swigging washed up on the shore. After these Japanese fishermen started poking and prodding the creature with a stick and flipping it over, then unwisely deciding to give it a swig of its carbonated beverage, it's an explosive conclusion, scary and potentially deadly. Is this a dangerous new species? Alien creature? Spectacular hoax? We're not gonna stick around to find out. You wanna know a little secret? If you smash the like button, subscribe, and click the notification bell, you'll have superpowers for the rest of your life. So what are you waiting for? Time to fly. Number 14. Sydney Funnelweb Spider You're definitely going to want to run away from this. Bites from all Australia's funnelweb spiders are considered potentially dangerous, but a bite from the Sydney Funnelweb Spider, that's a whole different kind of danger. Their venom is fast-acting and potentially lethal if not treated in a matter of hours. And if you were unfortunate enough to get bitten from a funnelweb, you are very likely to be envenomated. The male spider's venom is five times as toxic as the female's. Furthermore, males wander around hunting, so there's a chance you could bump into one of these arachnids. While you'll generally find male funnelweb spiders alone, females have been found to live in colonies of up to 100 spiders. They go out searching for mates, and because of that, spiders do come into contact with people. If you get bitten by the funnelweb spider, get help as fast as you can. Symptoms of their bite range from breathing and circulatory problems, muscle spasms, and vomiting within minutes of being bitten. However, evidence has suggested that the effects can wear off after a few hours. They get their name because their webs have a small funnel-like tube leading to a silken burrow in which the spiders hide. The spider waits in the funnel for prey. Number 13. Deadly Freshwater Snails Another creature belonging to the small but deadly category is the freshwater snail, which is responsible for more than 200,000 deaths a year. More deaths than sharks, lions, and wolves combined. Freshwater snails carry a parasitic disease called schistosomiasis, which infects nearly 250 million people, mostly in Asia, Africa, and South America. We can contract it from just wading, swimming, entering the water in any way, and the parasites basically exit the snails into the water and seek you. And they penetrate right through your skin, migrate through your body, and end up in your blood vessels where they can live for many years, even decades. The larvae are flukes which infiltrate the bloodstream and develop into adults. Some parasites become trapped in blood tissues, resulting in immune reactions and eventually degradation of the organs. Those eggs have sharp barbs because they eventually need to make it back out of the human body and back into the water to complete their reproduction cycle. And so those eggs can lodge in different tissues and cause severe symptoms, ranging from anemia and fatigue all the way. The disease is primarily found in Asia, Africa, and South America, and that's why freshwater snails are recognized as one of the planet's deadliest animals. Number 12. The Venomous Selenidin This dangerous creature is kind of adorable in an ugly kind of way, and believe it or not, it's venomous. The toilet rat, aka the selenidin, has venom-laced saliva. 
It delivers its poison like a snake does, using its teeth as a syringe to inject it. Researchers found that the venom contained enzymes which mess with other proteins, especially the ones involved in maintaining blood pressure. That's where the danger comes in. Researchers injected test rodents with this rat's toxic venom and their pulse and breathing did not change. However, their blood pressure dropped as soon as the venom went in. So a selenidin bite might not kill the prey, but it might render them foggy-headed and easier for the selenidin to dine on. They just wait and yeah, it's dinner time. They hunt at night, digging in the dirt with their sensitive snouts and long claws, waiting to disarm their prey. Usually insects, worms, snails, small frogs, and reptiles. And with just one toxic bite. Savage, right? But they're highly endangered and can only be found in the forests of the Dominican Republic and Haiti. Number 11. Poisonous Puss Caterpillar This deceptive insect's kitty cat-like veneer hides venomous spines. As the puss caterpillars grow in size, their venom becomes more toxic. This inch-long caterpillar is generously coated in long, luxurious hair-like wisps, the characteristic that gave it the name Puss. But don't ever go near it. The fur of the larvae contain venomous spines that cause extremely painful reactions in human skin upon contact. To reduce pain and other symptoms, there's a trick. Try applying common household tape to help remove the spine tips from the skin. Then icing the infected area after to reduce inflammation should help as well. Take an antihistamine too. In 2018, a 15-year-old in Florida was rushed to the hospital after brushing against one while doing yard work. Another woman was sent to the hospital after one touched her wrist the following year, to which she posted online, nothing came close to the pain. It felt like someone was drilling into my bones. Some people may even experience multiple stings because the caterpillars can fall from trees and become lodged in clothes. Lucky us, puss caterpillars are still relatively rare as long as you stay alert when in their habitat. But don't say we didn't warn you. Number 10. Stonefish You might not even see this creature while enjoying some time in the ocean. Stonefish happen to be master camouflagers and are responsible for killing many Pacific and Indian Ocean Islanders. The stonefish can be superbly camouflaged, often looking like an encrusted rock or a lump of coral, displaying colors like brown or gray, patches of yellow, orange or red, literally disappearing into its surroundings. So good luck avoiding it, though you'll likely pray you had. It's the most venomous fish in the world, and it's covered in spines on its dorsal fin that inject a highly toxic venom that travels straight to your heart. And the more venom that's injected, the worse the terrible pain. Then there's swelling, necrosis, and even death. Maybe just don't go swimming unless you know there's none down there. They usually live on rubble or coral bottoms, often under rocks or ledges. They look mean too, and they're fast. It usually waits for prey like tiny fish or crustacea to swim past and then strikes with incredible speed. High-speed camera equipment is required to record the feeding of this species, another incredible defense mechanism. As long as their surrounding area remains moist, stonefish can survive an entire day out of water by absorbing oxygen through their skin. Number 9. World's Most Powerful Electric Eel We're never really surprised when something deadly is discovered in the Amazon because, let's face it, it's one of the most dangerous rainforest and water systems in the world. And now even more so. Scientists have found one of the most shocking new species of electric eel there. So when you visit, be warned. Known as the electric eel. It's a unique creature, more closely related to a catfish than an eel. These eels can leap out of the water and it can generate an electric shock of 860 volts. This makes it the strongest bioelectricity generator to be known in the marine world. These creatures use three electric organs to produce shocks, and these electrical discharges help them catch prey and ward off predators. And they also produce weaker discharges that aid navigation and communication as a way to. Also, an electric eel produces electricity in pulses rather than continuous bursts, and following a large electrical event, the animals need to recharge. While the voltage is high, researchers suggest that due to the low amperage of the shocks, they're unlikely to be lethal to humans, and experts believe an enormous amount of species are waiting to be discovered in the Amazon rainforest, many of which may harbor cures for diseases or inspire technological innovations. The shocking electric eel is a reflection of the incredible diversity in the Amazon rainforest.
Number 8. Japanese Giant Hornets How does it feel to be stung by a Japanese giant hornet? Well, it hurts. A lot. The sensation is like being stabbed by a red-hot burning needle. Not only that, but the pain lasts. And although you could also have these symptoms when stung by other hornet species, the intensity is said to be much more severe in Japanese giant hornets. Stories of agonizing stings are one reason why the recent discovery of two giant hornets in Washington state is now trending and causing concerns around the globe. Though honeybees have venom that's more toxic than giant hornets, the bees can sting only once. Giant hornets can sting repeatedly and are capable of delivering about 10 times more venom. One giant hornet would be capable of killing about 10 mice. A colony, however, could kill a person. It makes sense as it's the world's largest hornet at more than one and a half inches long. But even if they're not the most aggressive in defending their nests, hornets like these may actually be more dangerous. Though the insects have the potential to spread, to date they haven't been found anywhere else in the United States. And scientists and other specialists are hard at work trying to control any hidden populations in the area. Number 7. Venomous Komodo Dragons This island is home to the world's largest lizards, the Komodo dragon. A member of the monitor lizard family, it's the largest species of lizard on the planet, growing to a maximum length of 10 feet in rare cases and weighing up to approximately 150 pounds. Monty, by far my favorite animal on Earth. I've known him for years now and we have a bit of an understanding. As a result of their size, Komodo dragons are apex predators and dominate the ecosystems in which they live. Komodo dragons hunt and ambush prey including invertebrates, birds and mammals. And don't forget, they can and will eat you. Komodo dragons have venom glands in their mouths that are loaded with toxins which can lower blood pressure, cause massive bleeding, prevent clotting and induce shock. The venom then quickens the loss of blood and sends prey into shock and they've serrated teeth and powerful neck muscles resulting in huge gaping gashes for their victims. If you do manage to escape the jaws of a Komodo dragon, just wait. They'll calmly follow you for miles as the venom takes effect, using their next level sense of smell to zone in on what could be your very, very dead body. It's endemic to the Indonesian islands of Komodo, Rinka, Flores, and Gili Moting. There are approximately 176,000 visitors to Komodo National Park each year to visit these dangerous beasts. Number 6. Amazonian Black Cayman this dangerous black beauty is the largest member of the alligator family and the largest predator in the Amazon River Basin, averaging 13 to 16 feet long. It's a carnivorous reptile that lives along slow-moving rivers, lakes, seasonally flooded savannas of the Amazon Basin, and in other freshwater habitats of South America. And they have a terrifying reputation, always shown in films lurking the dark waters in search for the next victim to fall into the water. Luckily, most species of caiman are too small to be dangerous to humans and prey on much smaller animals. The black caiman, however, is one that's large enough to pose a threat, but they prefer to hunt other jungle animals. As apex predators with a generalist diet, they can take virtually any animal found throughout their range. Similar to other large crocodilians, black caimans have even been observed catching and eating smaller species such as the spectacle caiman and sometimes cannibalizing smaller individuals of their own kind. However, the black caiman has its own ecological niche that enables coexistence without too much competition. As the largest predator in its habitat, it may also be a keystone species playing an important role in maintaining the structure of the ecosystem. Number 5. Io Moth Caterpillar all of our green thumbs pay attention. If the summertime has you spending more time outdoors, heed this warning. There's a common caterpillar crawling around vegetation with a sting that can take you down. And sadly, many people are very familiar with this green, creepy crawly critter known as io moth caterpillars. You might have to spray your plants if these problematic caterpillars take over. But best to know the risks before you even hit the garden, right? These caterpillars do eventually become beautiful moths. Until then, Look before you grab a branch. They're pretty clever at blending into their environments. Thankfully, with their distinctive colorful marking, the I.O. can be easily spotted. The last instar of the caterpillar is green and has a red and white stripe down the side. But if you do come in contact, this animal is covered in spines that can break off and embed themselves in one's skin if it's handled. And the pain can last for some time after the exposure. 
If you're stung by a caterpillar, try a piece of packing tape and lightly press it onto the area. Hopefully the spines will stick to the tape, then just proceed with some gentle soap and water and hope for the pain to subside. You won't die, but it will hurt. Number four, crocodiles of the Nile. You're probably not going to want to take a dip in the River Nile anytime soon, especially after you see what swims there. These beasts are the largest of the African crocodilian, averaging 30 feet long but reportedly reaching up to 35 feet in rare instances. They're known to attain insane weights of up to 1,500 pounds. They prefer freshwater habitats such as lakes, rivers, swamps, and marshlands widespread throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, the Nile Basin, and Madagascar. And now, Nile crocodiles are an invasive species in North America, and several specimens have been recently captured in South Florida. And they customize their habitat by digging dens, usually with their snouts and feet, into which they can retreat from adverse conditions such as temperature extremes. Huge dens, up to 40 feet deep. Of course, like all huge crocs, they're opportunistic apex predators, a very aggressive species of crocodile, and they're capable of taking almost any animal within their range. Their diet consists mostly of different species of fish, reptiles, birds, and mammals, and maybe even you. So if you're swimming in Africa in Oops, Florida, you might not be swimming alone. Number 3. The Golden Poison Dart Frog You'll be pleased to know that this amphibian is endemic to a small area in Colombia and South America, meaning they only live there. How can something this cute be so deadly? Would you believe a single frog carries 1,900 micrograms of poison? A single frog harbors enough poison to kill 10 grown men, making these frogs perhaps the most poisonous animals alive. Scientists are unsure of the source of this frog's amazing toxicity, but it's possible they assimilate plant poisons which are carried by their prey. Frogs raised in captivity and isolated from insects in their native habitat never develop venom. The golden dart frog one of the most toxic creatures in the world. The poison is so strong that it was used by the local indigenous people to coat their hunting darts by simply rubbing the tip of a dart along the back of a live frog. Once dry, a single frog would provide enough poison for two or three darts and were used to hunt mammals, birds, and kill humans if necessary. Discovered in 1973, the golden poison dart frog is one of the largest of the poison dart frogs and it can grow to over two inches in size. And though the population in its small range is abundant, human development has landed the species on international endangered lists. Number 2. World's Deadliest Snake This serpent might be smaller than some deadly snakes, but this makes no difference in how deadly it is. If the world's most dangerous snake, the inland Taipan, bites you, expect more than just a headache. There will be nausea, vomiting, abdominal pain, collapse, and even paralysis. It's extremely potent and is rated as the most toxic of all snake venoms. It makes a very visible threat display by raising its forebody in a tight low S-shaped curve. Should the offender ignore this warning, this snake will strike. A single bite from one of these impressive reptiles has enough venom to kill 100 fully grown men. Fortunately, it's only found in this area of South Australia and in far western Queensland. As the seasons change and the food disappears, they're well equipped for long periods of little or even no food. Don't let the shyness fool you. In 1950, an amateur herpetologist was one of the first people to capture a Taipan live, although he was bitten and died the next day. The snake was milked by another zoologist and used to develop an antivenom. But this creature has reached mythical status, and this shy serpent is rarely encountered in its remote, semi-arid Australian homeland. Number 1. The Platypus and the award for the most unusual and dangerous animal goes to, yep, this one-of-a-kind creature. A platypus is best described as a mashup of more familiar species, the duck because of its bill and webbed feet, the beaver because of the tail, and otter because of its furry body. This animal has a lot to unpack visually. In addition to all those mashup characteristics, the males are also venomous, with sharp stingers on the heels of their rear feet the platypus spur on the back of their hind feet is connected to a venom-secreting gland. The venom is not life-threatening to humans, but it can cause severe swelling and excruciating pain. They're one of the few living mammals to produce venom, a unique feature in the presence of the D-amino acid. This is the only known such example in mammalian systems. 
Although platypus venom is known to consist of a similar substance as reptilian venom, it appears to have a different function. Its effects are not life-threatening but nevertheless serious and can lead to temporary paralysis. They don't even use their venom to kill their prey, however. While the platypus may use this characteristic for offensive mating purposes, crocodiles and Tasmanian devils are known predators to the platypus, both of which can be impacted by the venom.